Hi, welcome to the Psycho 10 Basic Tutorial Training Course. Today, I will continue to talk about the content editor in Psycho 9. Okay, let's get started. This is the launch part of the Psycho 10. And basically, in order to access into the content editor, you click on the content editor in the content editing area. Click on this one. And then it will direct you to the content editor. So the content editor is an editing tool that you can use to manage and edit on the content on your website. The appearance and functionalities, it will be depending on the user role and the permission. And because for now I'm asset into the cycle CMS by using the administrator account, so I can see the full functionalities in the content sheet here. However, if you are access into the cycle by using some of the content author account, so you cannot see all of the functionality like me. Yeah. Basically, the content editor user interface, it will be consist of three main areas. The first one will be the ribbon. Yeah. Here. This is the area where all the functionalities are available for the cell. The second one is the content sheet on the left hand side. Yeah. This is the area where all the items are organized based on the setting. Yeah. And the last one is the content area. This one. This is the main body. The content area is where you can edit the item in the website. Yeah. So now I will run through one by one to see it more detail. The first one is the ribbon here. So it consists of the system menu and some tab home, navigate, review, analyze, publish, versions, configure, presentation, security view, and my toolbar here that you can use in the content editor is available for some functionalities for the website. Yeah. And of course, it will be depending on the user asset right or the security setting. Yeah. You can see the full functionality here in the ribbon for the system menu or the tab. Yeah. Okay. And the next one, it will be the content tree. Here, one of the main features of the content editor is the content tree, which presents all the items that are greatest in the cycle uh, iteration. Yeah, the cycle content tree it looks uh, similar to the window explorer of the window. However, the cycle objects and group are not represented by standard folder and five icons, but it will be displayed in the many different icons. For example, we have the home icon, layout icon, form icon, media system, tablets, and a lot of the other icons. Yeah, okay. We can explore this one more detail later on in other video. The last one is the content area, this one. The content area is where you can edit an item. When you click an item in the content tree, we have two tabs appear in the content area. Yeah. So here, for example, open quick information, we have something in the content tab. Yeah. The content tab where you can edit any the item fields value. So here we have quick information, the data. In the data, we have the title and also text in the home page. Basically, if you want to see some more as a view for the home item, so you can go to the view and then click on standard views. Yeah, it would be display other view. I mean the other standard fields. Yeah. We have a lot of things. 
workflow area validation rule task tracking statistics security publishing light time yeah a lot of things yeah okay come back to home and the second tab for home item will be the third third tab yeah in the third tab is where you can search through the selected item yeah okay and the next one in the top right corner of the content area additionally we have some the other functionalities available for this selected item is a home yeah so we have the navigate this one the navigate it will help you to navigate to a specific section or fields in the list of the field value yeah so here for example we can go to the tag yeah it will direct you to the tag yeah and other thing it will be the uh workflow it will direct you directly to the workflow below yeah okay back to the top i will go to title yeah okay and the second functionality is the language yeah so here by default you see in the current version of the home item i have only one language in the english yeah the toggle between the language the versions of the item are to create a new language version if you want to create a new language you can click more languages yeah this one and then you will select some the language here by default we have a lot of the languages yeah i will show you the demonstration later on in other lesson okay the next thing is the version yeah so here it can display the when this version is modified or created new year or we can even to add the newer version for this item okay so in this video we have to run through on the functionalities of the content editor basically we have three area the ribbon the content tree and the content area yeah in the next lesson we will go in more detail for better understanding all of the functionalities in each area of the content editor okay bye bye